Hey everybody, Jim here, Tribe Vibe TV with Zachariah. Zach, are you standing on your tippy toes? Man, getting bigger, man. <laughs> so this is a guy who has worked really, really hard over the last, really, three months in heading up a strength programming committee for Kyle Sutton, our director of programming. And Zach, you've worked with Pecky Borland, Josh Bateman, and over the last eight weeks, you've created the first ever strength testing phase. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but now that those eight weeks are over, we're going into a new phase. It goes from July 29th, and that's Tuesday, right? And it's a Tuesday, Thursday programming going until Thursday, the 3rd of September, leading up to your big wedding on the 5th. So with all that being said, what are the movements in the format for the next strength phase? So on Tuesday, we're going to be doing uh, a complex of a hang power clean and a hang squat clean. And then the second piece, we're gonna do some bench press. <laughs> so we're gonna kinda do a little technique work and we're gonna kinda do a little bench press for those guys that like to lift really heavy. Then on Thursday, we're gonna be doing snatch grip deadlifts to kinda work on your snatch setup. And then on Thursday, we're gonna be doing uh, overhead squats also. So different little setup for the overhead squats. We're gonna be doing max reps instead of a traditional one, three, and five rep. You have divisions to choose from, and you'll try to do as many reps at a division the first day, and then you'll retest doing the same thing, and hopefully get a couple more reps in. Okay, so basically, if I'm listening to this and I'm um, an average Iron Tribe athlete wherever I am around the country, I might get a little intimidated by the overhead squat, but the whole point of this is to attack your weaknesses, and don't think that you just have to have performance goals to need to go to strength class. It all works well with the regular program. In fact, it makes you faster at those workouts with better muscle fatigue capabilities by doing strength. You can go longer with the reps in those timed workouts. So don't, don't uh, limit yourself. Zach, talk about this past phase and some of the successes, not just here in Birmingham, but around the country, our Yammer network, where all of our coaches kind of communicate, was filled with testimonials from the strength phase. Yeah, so the last strength phase, we did pause uh, front squats and we did straight handstand push-ups, and we also did clean and jerks, and we did weighted pull-ups. I feel like we saw tons of results. I feel like people were PRing on their front squats, then their clean and jerks, and I feel like people really enjoy kind of the accessory work of the handstands and the straight pull-ups, and I feel like after we did that, it also kind of helped with the regular classes, because we do so many kipping handstands, we do so many kipping pull-ups, that this is a way to kind of step back from the kipping and kind of dial in on your strength, so it really helped out in the regular classes. So as we kind of go into this phase, the key always with any of these programs is consistency. And so let's just end talking about how all the success stories we saw had a common denominator, and that was people showed up on Tuesday and Thursday, not just once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, consistency is a key in strength class because we only do it two days a week. So if you're going to want to see improvements, you have to really dedicate yourself that I'm gonna make time to come to these two days, whether I need to come in the morning sometimes, or I need to come at night. Like you have to dedicate yourself if you wanna see results because two days a week, that's, that's not even enough really. So if you wanna get the best out of it, then you must make sure for that whole phase that you come those two days a week. So I was just down in Tuscaloosa visiting one of our franchisees in that area, and uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And uh, it was great because I worked out with a class at 12.30 and many of those guys showed up at night for the 5.30 strength class. And it's just cool to see people doing double sessions, doing a couple workouts, but you don't have to do it that way. You can go all every day during the week and on Tuesday, Thursday strength, the other days are regular. You can mix it up however you want. Talk to your coaches, they'll give you advice on that. But keep in mind, all this stuff works together. It's a body of work, no pun intended, but we know that you want to improve yourself. This is gonna help you do it. It fits really well with the Power Challenge, which of course is starting here in Birmingham, and Transformations Challenge, which is going on at several of our stores around the country. But even if those challenges aren't going on, the strength classes are going on, and you need to opt in and take part in it. So Zach, thanks for joining me once again. Congratulations on your, you. your wedding. That's a good celebration. We'll visit you again right around that time to talk about the results and success for the upcoming strength phase.